I just noticed that DJI released a new version of the DJI Fly App 174. It's available for both Android and iOS, and it's supposed to add additional functionality to the Avatar, which is the newest uh, FPV drone that DJI has released. But as we have known from the past, every time that they release new stuff, they, take to, they tend to break something. So I thought I would just uh, update this Android phone and uh, take the Mini 3 for just a short test flight for us to check out if everything is like it's supposed to be. Let's start by checking out if the app has been properly installed. Yes, 174 is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the screen recorder running, so you can actually see what it is that I'm doing. Get on the map. And uh, this weather that you see right now, <laughs> it was not like that <laughs> a couple of hours ago, that's for sure. Right now it's really, really beautiful. Let's turn on the video here. So, let's just film a little bit inside uh, over the castle garden here. The horizon does not seem like it's completely 100% level, but I'm not sure that that has anything to do with the fly app. I can see the castle up there. Can only do it like two, two times soon <laughs> because I'm recording in 4K 30 FPS. But um, that part seemed to work like it's supposed to. Let's just flick it into portrait mode here. See if we can record a little bit of video here. Also, it seems... Now the compass is pointing in the right direction. <laughs> and I can, uh, let's see, if I point the arrow of... Uh, yeah, the blue arrow there of uh, the aircraft, I should be able to see myself down here, yes. So that one is also working. So we can just try and change it here. Oh, I want to change this part. I want to change this part. So I like this wheel the best because then I know I can just point this, the tip of uh, the triangle, like point that towards me. Let's test if uh, the tracking capabilities are working like they're supposed to. I prefer to do it in this view instead. We had some problems in the past with that. So right now we have it in spotlight mode, and as you know, you can use spotlight mode. Just fly the drone around, and then whatever you have highlighted on the ground, it will keep that in the center of the frame. Maybe we should record a little video while we're doing it. It's kind of nice. Ah, it's not nice. It's, it's crazy how much, how long it takes to put down this fiber installation. So let's just see, do it like this. It's doing actually a pretty good job at keeping uh, the frame there. I also went through the menus just before I went out recording this video. And uh, as far as I can see, there's no changes to that. But I guess that was also not the purpose. Let's just bought this mission here. That was also not the purpose of the mission or this update that was to yeah, do stuff for the Avatar. But uh, it's nice that they haven't broken anything. At least I haven't been able to spot anything that is broken. But uh, you probably will help me out and tell me if you see something that is not working like it's supposed to. And I'm testing with the Android version, uh, so, uh, so maybe you see something different uh, with the iOS. Uh, and of course, uh, as this is Avatar related, there's nothing for the smart controller, as it is right now. It's actually been a while since they updated the, the software there. So, I guess the box are not related <laughs> to that controller. 
So let's just take the, the photo up here somewhere. Yeah, we don't need to go that far, that high. So let's test the photo thing here. I wouldn't expect that to cause any problems, but uh, let's just do it for the sake of this uh, mini test. Yeah, that's working. We can do a AED where we do uh, basically three photos, one that is neutral exposure, one that's overexposed and one that's underexposed. Those can be combined later to preserve both the highlights and the dark areas uh, of the image, which you would have in a situation like this where the sun is kind of setting. Yeah, it's nice, 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 nice. <laughs> so what else can we test here? Test something that I know has been the drone has been struggling with in the past. We switch it into video. This, then we do, do the tracking here. And then we do point of interest. And we let it go around me. We have seen that cause problems in the past. where the UI is freezing up, but that part seems to be working without any issues right now. Apart from me losing my pants. <laughs> Let's just stop that before we crash into something. Stop the video here. And Flip it into vertical, repeat, rinse and repeat, like this. So this time we do active track, trace, film. Let's see what it's doing there. I'll just go over here. That part also seems to be working pretty well. So let's cancel that one and then take that one away. Stop. Let's just take a close look here at the menus. See, there's nothing that kind of sticks out. So I can see it here. On the control, subject scanning, I have disabled that one. Gimbal mode. Oh, everything seems like it's supposed to. I just need to stop this. So, in the camera menu, in the form of decent like uh, H264. Could have switched it into H265. That will generate a little, a little bit of a higher compression of the files. Let me just check down the drone here. So, H265. That is uh, basically a compression format that is uh, suitable for 4K video. It compresses the files significantly more than, uh, than um, the original format, the H264. Uh, but it also requires a lot more for your computer to do a, a smooth uh, playback. Now I'm <laughs> I've got it the grass here. <laughs> I have no problem installing this update because it seems the drone is behaving exactly like it's supposed to. What is not behaving is a video that I put out yesterday where I spent a ton of time recording this video. I guess I spent maybe the best part of 25 hours completing that and I was involving my vintage car, the Corvette and everything to show you something nice. But for some strange reason, this video was not taking off. And uh, maybe it was the subject, it was uh, around this Insta360 uh, camera, which is the X3 model, which is the latest model uh, from them with a nice uh, touchscreen on the back. 
And uh, I was trying to make this video interesting um, in a way that uh, I was kind of, kind of showing that you could use this as a one-man band when you're out recording. I know there are issues with distortion with these cameras uh, a little bit, but they have a pretty good linear mode that will allow you to yeah, do different stuff. It's not the same as using a high-quality GoPro uh, camera or so, uh, where you have a very, very sharp image through a single lens. But but it's definitely doing a better job than the GoPro Max, which is uh, the, the 360 version uh, from GoPro. So, if you haven't always checked that video out, at least if you're interested in old cars, I took it for a vintage car show as well, you will have a chance to see some of those if you watch the video, and I'll make sure to link that through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around.